Hey there, Arelli here from WithHisGifts.com. Welcome, thank you for stopping by. Today I have a quick video tutorial for you and I'm gonna show you how I made this lovely thank you card that I am going to mail out um, to my customers who placed an order from my online store last month. So let's get started. The stamp sets that we're using today are One Big Meaning, Gorgeous Grunge, and Butterfly Basics. Because you know, I took out Butterfly Basics. It was collecting dust on my shelf and I forgotten how much I absolutely love it. So we're using it again in today's video. The ink pads that we're using today are Pool Party, Early Espresso, and Crumb Cake. We'll also be using the Layering Circles dies as well as the Bitty Butterfly punch. And for our paper, I have a piece of the Whisper White Thick cut at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of the Pool Party cut at four by five and a quarter. I have um, a circle. I've already went and cut it using the Layering Circles die. Um, in the Whisper White, I have half of a doily. And then I have a scrap piece of Whisper White for butterfly. The other things that I'm using today are my snail adhesive, some dimensionals, glue dots, and a bone folder. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and lay my grid sheet down to protect my work surface. I'm going to go ahead and grab the um, pool party cardstock and the pool party ink pad. I'm going to go ahead and start with um, the stamp from the Gorgeous Grunch, which is this paint splatter here. Okay, and I already have that mounted on my e-block, so I'm going to go ahead and create just um, some background interest. Um, so we're stamping the same color, and we're just going to cover I don't know if you can see that. I think you can. I think you can. I think you can. Um, so it creates a subtle background, which is gorgeous. The, um, the tone on tone. Just like that. Okay. That's step number one. The next stamp that I'm going to grab is the, um, the border here from the Butterfly Basics. And I have that mounted on my great big giant F block because that's where I found it fit best. So I'm going to ink it up. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it on the long side and right along the edge, leaving just a little bit of a border. I am going to stamp that. Okay. And now I'm going to silence my phone. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, so that's what we have so far. The next stamp that I'm going to use from the Butterfly Basics is my postage stamp. Um, and also um, in the pull party. Okay. So I'm just going to randomly stamp this like so. Okay. Again, it's very subtle. But it is gorgeous. Okay. And that my friends um, concludes that piece okay so the next thing that we want to grab I'm gonna set this aside is the, um, the circle that we cut using the layering circles dies um, and I use the biggest straight edge circle for my circle today alrighty so now I have my circle I am going to grab my fern and I am going to use the crumb cake and the pool party. Okay. And I have my fern mounted here on my eye block. I'm going to go ahead and ink it up like that. I'm not going to stamp off, but I'm going to come in right in the middle and then move it over like that that okay then we are going to 
same fern and the pool party. And we're going to go ahead and fill out that empty space there on our circle with the pool party fern. Like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Alrighty. So now what we're going to do is grab our early espresso and we are going to grab the thank you right there from the one big meaning and that is mounted already on my D block I'm going to ink it up and then I'm gonna come over to the left a little bit like so and stamp my sentiment like that gorgeous okay um, let's see what we have now okay so we're gonna go ahead and find I'm gonna set this aside we're done with this okay now I have my scrap piece of the whisper white and then I have my little butterfly that comes from the butterfly basics and we're going to stamp that in the pool party okay like so Alrighty, and then we'll grab our punch. Let's put that in our punch, line it up, and then go ahead and punch. Oops, almost messed you up. Okay, punch. Alrighty, so now, technically we have everything that we need in order to put our card together okay um, like I did for my customers cards but what I want to do now and uh, what I want to do different is I'm going to grab my early espresso and my sponge dauber and then I'm going to distress this um, I didn't do it for um, the customer cards because distressing does not always lend itself well to mass production. Um, I could do it, but then um, my kids would go hungry because it would take a long time. So I did not do that for the customer cards, but it still looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to add my personal touch to this so that you can see um, the difference that distressing make. So I have my sponge dauber and my early espresso. And then we're going to go around the edges. Okay? And then we're going to see the difference. And hopefully you'll see why I love distressing so much. Okay? All the way around. Okay, so there is that piece. Alrighty? Then we're going to go ahead and grab our little circle and we're going to do the same thing. Just go all the way around. Okay, and there's that piece. And then our little itty bitty butterfly. We're going to go ahead and work around the edges of that as well. Now, we shall, I'm going to get some of the color off of here, off my dauber, and then I'm going to lightly work my doily and distress that as well, okay? So now all our pieces our, are distressed. The next thing we want to grab is our snail adhesive, and we're going to apply some to our doily here. Okay, I'm going to grab my sentiment and then place it right about there. Okay, then I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to grab my dimensionals and I'm going to, oopsie, just use four of them to hold that up for me. Okay, 
All right, let's set this aside for one second and go ahead and grab our card base. Let's fold that over. And you know, I am working with the white card base, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over to my clean side so we don't get it all icky. All right, so my card base, I'm gonna go ahead get my bone folder then my card layer let's go ahead and put some snail around the edges let's go ahead and mount that on the front of my card like so okay then we will take the backing off our dimensionals. Okay. And then we're going to mount that right around there. Okay. So then we are almost there, my friends. Let's go ahead and grab a glue dot. Alrighty, this card is super quick. It is super, super duper easy to make. And it is gorgeous. Okay, I got myself a glue dot on the back of my butterfly. And then I am going to mount it right there. Like so. Okay, and there you have it. Super duper easy, super duper quick, and super duper elegant. And you can see the difference side by side. Um, what distressing does um, and the character that it adds to a card. Beautiful without beautiful with. It's just your preference. So make sure you jot down the supply list down below, then head on over to my website at withhisgifts.com and place your order today so you can make these lovely cards at home. Also, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. Visit me at my website at withhisgifts.com. Check out what I'm all about and hit me up with any questions that you have. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you and have a great day.